and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kirsten. I can't really say I post videos weekly anymore because it's been like three months since I've uploaded. But here I am. Gonna do a little tutorial kind of get ready with me kind of catching up since the last time that I had filmed. Um, yes, if you notice my face is white. And everywhere else is tan I have self tanner on so don't think I look funky because I am gonna show you how to fix that I'm gonna show you my summer routine what I've kind of been doing on the daily um because in the summer I get so extremely hot and especially here in Kentucky this weather was awful this summer yes summer is kind of coming to a close but in Kentucky it seems like we have hot 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 weather all the time so this is a good tutorial for people who don't like to load their face up with product um really just can't stand the heat of feeling like you have a sock over your face in the summer when you put on all kinds of foundation all kinds of products so that's kind of what we're going to do today is show you a quick and easy tutorial on how i do my summer skin how you can do your summer skin and use minimal products but yet look good so Without further ado, let's go ahead, jump on into the video, and let's get started. So off of camera, I went ahead and done my eyebrows. I am going to fix them up a little bit after I get some other product on my face, but I didn't want to go ahead and do my concealer around the brow before I done some primer. Um, but you'll see why. We'll jump into it. But the brows is not a necessity for this video. So I went ahead and done those off of camera. That way we just didn't have to sit through and wait on that. But... Jumping in with our primer, this is something that I have been loving to use this summer, especially because it has such a cooling aspect. And like I said, I get extremely hot. Even year round, I get extremely hot. So I have been using the Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer and also um, my pores have been super enlarged lately right in here. So I try to use this and it does help to close them up. So that I don't have such an issue with those showing through. And I'm going in with a Real Technique sponge just to kind of blend this out. But yes, I decided to kind of step away from YouTube and doing videos for a little bit. I'm sure I had some people who were regular watchers who kind of noticed. To answer that question, I spread myself way too thin. I had so much going on and it got to the point to where I did not enjoy doing it anymore. <sighs> did I think I would ever enjoy doing it again? Yes, I really believed that I would. Um, but I knew it was not that moment that I needed to continue to do it because it was just so much on me. And I did it as a fun hobby to keep my mind off things and just to keep me preoccupied. And when I got bored, it was something to do. Now it got to the point where it was not fun anymore. So why am I gonna do a hobby that wasn't fun to me? That's kind of why I stopped. But about a month ago, I kind of was thinking and I was like, I kind of want to do them again. You know, I have some ideas that I want to do. And there was just such a fun feeling of getting to sit there and film and then pull it up on my computer, edit it out, and then just create this whole project that I done start to finish all by myself. I didn't have anyone telling me how to do it, what to do. None of that. I was 100% in control. I was the one that came up with the ideas for the video. I'm the one who sat here and filmed the videos, edited the videos. It was my whole project and it was such a fulfilling feeling to actually accomplish it and to get it done and to get it up on YouTube. And it kind of got to where I was losing that feeling, but then I kind of found it Again, it took me a couple months and it took me some time to just step back and say, hey, don't overload yourself with anything. Don't do something that doesn't make you happy. When you feel like you want to go film, go sit down in your room, go film a video. If you don't like it, turn the camera off. Come back later if you feel like it. If you don't feel like it at all, then just don't go. So it was kind of that. Like I thought since I had decided I wanted to start this project, I had to you know, bam, 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 go through with it. And that was not the case at all. That actually kind of made me resent it a little bit more and not want to do it as much. But once I took the time to step back and say, hey, I want to do it, just maybe not as much 
as I was doing. You know, I want to do something when I really feel like, hey, that's a video I want to film. I don't want to just film content just to have it and have a bunch of it on my channel. So that, that's kind of where I'm at. And this is kind of something that I wanted to start off with. Now, the next step that I have been doing is not foundation. That is something that I have been skipping because foundation on my skin this summer was a nightmare. It was so heavy. It ended up looking just swampy by the end of the day. And it is something that was just not pretty. So I've been going a different route and I've been doing something a little bit different. And that also matches nicely with the self tan I've been doing this summer. It's the Sunrite Insta Glow Tinted Self Tanning Gel by New Skin. As you can see, I am almost totally out of this product. Um, I don't typically use it on my body. This is kind of, I don't know if you can tell what it looks like, but this is the tan that I did put on today was in this brand. Typically I have been using Fake Bake, the one that comes with a mitt and then that way I can really buff it in. But I had this one on my counter and I decided to use it all over today. But this is the one that I have been typically using on my face. It smells horrid, but I kind of like the way that it works as a facial tint. And I have just been using this Morphe Y5 brush. I've not been using a sponge because I don't want to get self tanner all over my sponges. And this is a brush that I don't really use for anything that much anymore um, other than just kind of like buffing stuff out. So I thought this brush would be absolutely perfect for blending out my self tanner. And a good trick for this is to make sure you get it everywhere. So blend it up onto your ears because if you pull your hair back, that's going to be something that is definitely noticeable. But something that I recommend with this is steer clear of your eyes. Go around the eyes, but leave those eyes white. Don't touch them because you never want to put any kind of chemical near your eye. You don't want to burn it. And you can always fix that with eyeshadow. Eyeshadow will cover that right up and nobody will know that your eyelids are not tan. I'm brought in a little bit closer. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in with concealer. This to me is a must. I don't like the way that this just looks. I had done this one day and I've done this with a little bit of bronzer on the cheeks just to kind of sculpt it out some. It looked awful. Now, my hands down favorite go-to concealer that I have been using for months and months and months now is not the Tarte Shape Tape. No. I have actually not used that one for months and months and months. It is this one that is about 12 or 15 bucks at Sally's. This is the Coal Lab um, concealer that they have. They have a couple different concealers to pick from. They have um, some, some in a jar. They have some that's in like a little click thing. Um, anyway, this one it has the wand with it. This one is my absolute favorite. Mine that I have been using, I have three. I have beige tan, porcelain, and then ivory sand. Ivory sand is the one I've been going for lately. With the tan skin, I could probably get away with the beige tan if I didn't want something that was too bright. Now, if I'm going for a very, very simple look, I probably would use the beige tan and just make my skin have like a no makeup makeup look. But since I am going to try to look like I have makeup on today, but keep my skin as bare as possible. I'm going to go with this one because it will brighten me up just a little bit more. But the creaminess of this, the spreadability of this concealer, and for the price, this is something that I think everyone should have. Everyone who wears concealer, who likes makeup, this is definitely something that you should try. Don't knock it till you try it. And I still work at Sally's, yes. And I will be the first to tell you, Sally's makeup is not always 100% my favorite. But when it comes to this brand, this brand is something that I actually do swear by. This is something that I really do enjoy. Um, and for the price, I think that Sally's did knock it out of the park when creating this formula and when they collabed with beauty influencers on YouTube as well. This is something that I think actually really worked in their favor. They got some really good advice on makeup. Sally's is more of a hair care, hair color kind of place. 
makeup, I mean, they have it. They might have some good stuff that I've not stumbled across yet. But for my tricky, tricky skin, I have to be pretty particular as to what I wear. And I'm very, very quick to judge if something works for me or if it doesn't. I know what my skin wants and I know what my skin needs and I know what makes it look better. Um, so yeah, I can be a little picky when it comes to stuff sometimes, especially face products. But with this concealer, they've done an awesome job. They really do. All of that just to say that their concealer was good. Okay, now that I have that spread out, I am going to go in with a little bit of setting powder over top. And today I am using something also by the brand Colab. And it is their compact kind of setting powder here. This one is another favorite that I have been using. This one just makes your skin look absolutely flawless. It looks so airbrushed. Now for my bronzer, some things don't change. I'm still using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. Mine is in the shade Light Medium Matte Bronzer. This is what it looks like. I am almost out. I do need to replace it, but I've been really cheap when it comes to makeup lately. And for this, my goal for this makeup look is just to look as bronze as possible. That is kind of my summer go-to look is just to look bronze, gold, and just pretty natural and not too overpowering with the makeup. I just really like the golden kind of dewy pretty flawless skin look. Okay, next I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush and I'm using the Milani in the shade T Rose. And I'm actually just going to go in with that same brush because I don't want a whole, whole lot of blush today. I just want something that is going to look pretty natural on the skin. And this one does the trick pretty well. So now that is done, you can go ahead and you could do a full eye look if you like. There's a couple options here. It kind of really just depends on what your, your plans look like. Are you going to work? Are you going out? Are you running errands? You could easily do some bronzer on the eyelids just to kind of add some life in that center area. Um, or you could do a full on eye look and your skin still looks flawless, simple, beautiful and golden. Um, it's really just up to you. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it pretty, pretty simple. And I'm just going to mix these two guys right here. I'm going to use my blush and I'm going to use my bronzer. And I'm just going to kind of create an eye look that is simple, brings life to the face, but also looks like I tried and doesn't look sloppy. So to start, I am just using this brush. This one is just a fluffy brush. This one is by Colab as well. And I'm just going to kind of mix it in to my blush and just kind of hit up through here. There is really no rhyme or reason. We are just going to keep it very, very simple. Using the same brush now, I'm just going to go in with the bronzer. And this one I'm really going to hit on that outer corner here in that outer V area and then just kind of work that into my crease and that's just going to blend that bronzy brown and that really pretty light blush pink together. Now from here it's all about preference. You could take and which I had originally planned on doing kind of carving on my eyebrows a little bit more but being that it's going to be a pretty easy day, I'm going to skip that step for now. Um, if you like to typically do eyeliner, you could easily add eyeliner to this look and it would definitely spruce it up some. For me, what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara real quick, put some setting spray on, and then we're going to be done with this look. Okay, so this is the completed look. I just put on a little bit of mascara and I used the Marc Jacobs mascara. And for my setting spray, I just done the Urban Decay All Nighter. And as you can see, it's just this very beautiful, glowy summer skin that is perfect. It is not too heavy on the face. 
and it has that kind of no makeup makeup look but at the same time your skin looks extremely flawless and now my face matches my chest. I'm not too light, not too dark in spots. So it kind of works out. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please do not forget, give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos, some more tutorials, how to, and really just some chit chats, get ready with me, and just a bunch of fun stuff, just kind of hanging out. So anyway, I will see you all next time. And I promise I'm not going to wait three months to upload again or four months. I don't even remember how long it was, but it was too, too long. And I'm so sorry for that. I am going to be more active and I cannot wait to jump back in the swing of things and kind of get started and do some more videos for you all. Alrighty. I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.